Hey, Gems, what's happening? Look who is back. Oh, my goodness, Gems. It, it's, it's been a time. It has been a time. But, yes, thank you so much to each of you. Just continuing to rock with me and stay with me. We are rocking into episode 64. And gems, yes, I have been delayed. You know, I'm still writing my book, still fighting the devil, still doing everything that God has called me to do. Um, so I do thank those so much who continuously reach out to me, praying, supporting, encouraging as I'm continuing to hear the voice of God um, move in my life, um, wean out the distractions and just do what I got to do. So, but yes, we are back with another episode of Dawn's Jewel Drop. I am Dawn Gatling. I'm so glad to be here and be with you guys. And listen, if you on this call, if you on this call or if you're watching me today, tell the devil, not today, baby. Not today. <laughs> not today. We give all glory, honor, and praise to the Lord. I was just listening to um Yolanda Adams. The battle is not yours. She said, the battle ain't yours, it's the Lord's. Think about it and then start shouting. That's right. So before we get into our episode today, Gems, I saw this quote at least three times in the past two weeks. So I said, you know what? I have got to share it. So the third time I saw it, it was on one of my classmates I went to high school with. Her name is Deanna. So shout out to you, Deanna. Um, this quote says, letting people be wrong about you or a situation while keeping your peace and focus is the most misunderstood power move you will ever make. And I believe um, the person responsible for that quote, his name is Morgan Richard Olivier. He got to know Jesus. He, he just has to know the Lord beyond a shadow of a doubt. Because only those that know and love the Lord and know his power can shout. Keep your peace while you're going through the most tumultuous storms of life. Only those that know how good God is and his power can shout through the storm, through the chaos, and know that I'm going to come out better than how I went in. That is a whole fact, Gems. That is a whole fact. So, um, and, and second, before I start, shout out to my baby girl today, my firstborn daughter, Kayla Gatlin. Today is her birthday. So y'all shout out my baby and give her um, some birthday love today. She is an awesome and amazing woman of God, woman of God. And just look, as my husband always says, keep your foot on their neck. She's out there. She's, she's here. She's showing up. She's beautiful, intelligent, vibrant, amazing, um, discernment filled, and can't say enough about all three of my babies, but today is her day. So shout out to you, Kayla. All right, so today's episode, um, the title is Change Your Diet, Change Your Outcome. Gems, life is too short to make excuses. You know, God is out here seeking those who want to be a game changer. And you can't elevate and change the game without making some serious changes in your life. Change your diet change your outcome. You are going to hear me say that probably four or five times before I get through this message. And yes, with change comes some pain. Pain is inevitable, Gems. It's inevitable and no one will escape it. But I got good news because where God will guide, God will provide. I'm going to give you two scriptures that I stand on. Um, Psalm 32 and 8, God says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. And the other one is Isaiah 58 and 11. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame, your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Well, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can't nobody do it like them. I promise you. Change your diet, change your outcome. Gems, we have to speak to our obstacles, your hindrance, your problems, whatever you are going through. You have to have the faith of a mustard seed. Faith of a mustard seed means that I can speak to my mountain, tell it to move, and it will move. It will move. That While that is not easy, it is a fact God has given you faith of a mustard seed. You've got to tap into it, do the work, and all will be well. 
what do you, these are some of the things when I say change your diet, change your outcome of, obviously I'm not talking about the food you put in your, your stomach. I'm just talking about your overall diet, but to some, it, it may be about what food you eat, you know, um, that it can take on many definitions. So I won't, I won't stop that. Um, but what do you tell yourself each morning before you start your day? When you're getting out of the bed, how do you start your day? What does your diet consist of? Are you waking up knowing that you are a conqueror? Or are you waking up a victim? We are victors and not victims. We can't be out here playing the victim game. We have to take ownership and accountability for who we are, what we do, and the choices that we make. Change your diet, change your outcome. Who are you currently surrounding yourself by with? Are you surrounding yourself with people of influence? Are you surrounding yourself with people who have your best interests at heart? Are you surrounding yourself by people who are clapping when you're winning? You know, because some people are silent when you're winning. But when you're going through, they loud as I don't know what. You want to be around those who are clapping when you're winning, who are, who are when you're down, they're there, they, all around, all around. So you be careful and you recognize the people who you surround yourself with. Another thing, what do you feed in your mind daily? What do you feed your mind? You know, are you in control of your thoughts? Or are your thoughts controlling you? Because sometimes when you allow your thoughts to control you, that can ravel and, 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 and get out of control. Have you believed in stuff about yourself that's not even true? You got to take control of your thoughts and where you put your mind at, how you set your mind up. That's you, how you stimulate your mind. It's very, very important, Gems. Very, very important. What are you reading? Yeah, there you go. I mean, how do you stimulate your mind? Are you reading your word? Are you reading motivational things? Are you reading scriptures? Are you, are you reading the next Harlequin romance novel? I mean, it makes a difference. It's your choice. It's your preference, what you choose to read, what you choose to put your mind to, but just know it makes a difference. The mind is a powerful thing. It's a powerful thing. We have to be careful what we allow to enter it. And we have to be careful what we allow to stimulate it at the same time. I know God's word is, is, is a beautiful way to stimulate your mind because his word is true, is fair, and he's always there. Always, always there. No matter what rain, snow, hail, sleet, shine, God is there. Um, what are you listening to? Who are you listening to? That also makes a difference. We have to be mindful of all these things, gems. Change your diet, change your outcome. This It's all part of the diet. If you change your choices, you change your opportunities. Bad choices bring about bad opportunities. Good choices bring about good opportunities. Even in our chaos, even in our chaos, even in our storms, somebody out there, you're going through some chaos. You're going through a storm. There are choices that we can make in our storms as well. Not before they come, not after they come, but even during the storm, there are choices that we can make. You can choose to make preparations to come out of this storm for what lies ahead. And then that we operate on faith because we know God is going to get us through. Or you can choose to push yourself further into that storm. And that's not what we want. That's not why we're here. That's all the devil would want is to keep us down and keep his foot on our neck. But no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're going to keep our foot on his neck. <laughs> but, um, Gems, we have to get to a place where we silence the enemy. You have to silence the enemy. Stress the enemy out so much, so much that he get tired of coming for you. He gets tired of coming for you because he realizes, I can't win. I can't win. I can't defeat her. I can't beat her. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. No, not while God is on my side. Not while God is on my side. Your God loves you more than anything and anyone unconditionally beyond a shadow of a doubt. It doesn't matter what you do. doesn't matter what you're going through. God's got you. And he gives us the opportunity to make things right. He gives us the opportunity to change our diet so we can change the outcome. All right. So lastly, gems, protect your space. That is a real thing, gems. Protect your space. If you are allowing things into your space that alarm you, that rattle you, that distract you, that raise your blood pressure, then that means your space is not protected. And you need to make the necessary challenges and adjustments to protect that space, period. 
change your diet, change your outcome. Gems, I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. That's all I have for you today. Looking forward to being back here for episode 65. Again, my book is in the makings. Um, I'm working hard, Gems. Um, fighting the devil every day because you know the devil don't want me to win but I am going to win so um I have no fear with that and God willing I will be back here I always say I'm coming back I do and I mean that with my whole heart I'm always coming back I love you guys tell somebody you love them today go love up on somebody go hug up on somebody um Again, my daughter's birthday. I know it's somebody else's birthday out there too. So if it's on you as well, happy birthday to you. But um, I'll see you all soon. Okay, take care.